In our superhero animation, as we play forward, you'll see we have an explosion occur right away at the start of the animation. Now, in a previous video, I described how we did this. This was actually created using the new frame by frame layer in Anime Studio 11. And as you can see, as I play it over, it looks pretty good. Now, how it was colored is also interesting. For that, we use the new color points tool in AS11. So let me show you how this works. I'm going to open up just a basic document here, and I'm going to take the add point tool and let's add some points. So we can come in here and just kind of go like this and create some points like so, and we're good. Now, I want to come over here and click on the color points tool. First, I will click off just to make sure no points are selected and then I can click on that tool or you can use K on your keyboard as a shortcut. I want to come over here and click on any point. It doesn't matter which point. Click on that one. It's red so you know it's highlighted and then we can come up here and choose the color. I could click on my color picker and let's choose let's say blue and then click OK. From here, I could adjust the strength. So I could come down, and as you can see, I can make it more dominant or less, just depending on what you want to do. And from here, we could continue to click on other points. So let's choose the top one, get the color picker, choose red, click OK. This time, I could increase the color strength to, let's say, 10, and you can see it really alters the way it looks. And you could just continue to pick which points that you want to work with and change the colors. This is another way to create a gradient of sorts, except I think you can see that there is a lot more power to this because we can have multiple points of color with one object and we have more control over where they're placed in the object as well. If you'd like more information on Anime Studio or more tutorials, visit anime.smithmicro.com dot com.